Hey everybody, it's your favorite real estate agent, Michael Pryor from the Pryor Group at Keller Williams, and I'm here today to give a few tips and tricks on how to be a successful landlord in the Toronto real estate market. 2020 has been a tough year for everybody across the board, tenants, landlords alike, um, but today I'm here to speak about some of the ways that you can succeed and not be a slumlord and still be profitable in today's market. One of the most important things that you can do if you're about to rent out one of your units is choose a great tenant. Although there's no guarantee that every tenant's gonna be paying their rent on time, people do go through hardships, especially this year. If you pick a great tenant who has a good history of paying their rent on time, i.e. check their references, make sure that they're currently employed, and check their credit because their credit is an example of their ability to pay bills on time, over time. So if all of these things check out, you've already gone into a good position in finding yourself a great tenant. One of the next most important things is to actually check the references. If the person is the best friend of the tenant or the prospective tenant, it's unlikely that, that person's gonna say anything negative about the tenant. So I would always ask for a supplementary reference, somebody who has actually been their landlord before and obviously somebody who's their employer. It's important to know that the people they report directly to or the people that they pay directly to have good things to say about the prospective tenant. And lastly, I know it's going to sound a little cheesy, but one of the most important things to do is to trust your gut. If your gut instinct is telling you that it's not the right tenant, it's not the right person, it's probably better off to wait, not have it rented for a month or a half month, and get a great tenant. This is something I always tell my landlord clients, one of the most important things, if the unit is worth $24,000, $2,500, sometimes it's worth charging maybe $23.50 or $24.50, just a little bit less than market value, because that way they'll have the selection of many different tenants and they'll get to choose somebody who's great for the unit, as opposed to getting an extra $50, $100 a month, a bad tenant's gonna cost way more than that. So this is just a few tips and tricks that I like to use when I rent out my unit. Um, if you guys have any questions or you guys want to know some other great processes in order to get a great tenant, feel free to get in touch with me. And if I don't hear from you, have yourself a great fall market.